So I want to ask about that specifically. Uh, you mentioned, um, you know, some of the justices were appointed by presidents who didn't win the popular vote. So are you and perhaps other Democrats in the Senate or in Congress discussing changing the process for the confirmation and nomination of a Supreme Court justice? What I'm talking about is the need for broad democratic reform here, um, starting with reforming the filibuster, reforming the rules of the Senate so that a minority in the United States Senate can't stop uh, us from um, putting into place laws that the vast majority of Americans um, want. Uh, the, the protections of Roe versus Wade are broadly popular in this country, yet the United States Senate is unable to act on that uh, view of Americans because of Senate rules. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about looking at uh, reforming the Electoral College or at least having some sort of a, of a, uh, of a law around national popular vote so that presidents who are um, appointing Supreme Court justices have won the popular vote. And of course, I've talked also about court reform and what we need to do to make the court more accountable. Um, but fundamentally, the most important thing, not I think it's we, we, just, we can't be too distracted by that right now, because the most important thing is winning elections at the state level and at the federal level so that the people who are making decisions reflect the views of Americans. And that has to happen. That's what this election is going to be about. I believe that Roe is going to be on the ballot this November and the contrast between Democrats and Republicans could not be more clear.